housekeepers' uniforms. Panic buttons. The Culinary Union, representing 14,000 maids in the valley, is proposing the added safety measure. If you have your panic button, you you know you have a something where you can ask him for help. Workers at the Palms Casino Resort on the Las Vegas Strip have voted to unionize. Las Vegas casino workers voted to authorize a strike. Tens of thousands of Las Vegas culinary union workers arriving at the Thomas and Mack Center in droves. Thousands of Las Vegas casino employees could walk off the job starting next week. Last night, 25,000 members of the culinary union voted to authorize a strike anytime starting June 1st. Now, the union says 99% voted for this action. Caesars Entertainment agreed to a five-year deal. 50,000 casino workers belong to the Culinary Union. Today, Culinary Union workers set up their strike headquarters. The workers threatened to strike if their demands were not met by the June 1st deadline. Negotiations now continue for 15 other casinos. A round of applause for another successful negotiation. The new tentative five-year agreement between the Culinary Union and MGM Resorts International covers 24,000 workers at 10 casino resorts. Culinary Union reaches a tentative agreement with the Stratosphere. The Culinary Union reached a tentative deal with the Plaza Hotel and Casino. The Culinary Union has reached a deal with Tropicana Las Vegas. And the Culinary Union has reached a tentative agreement with the Westgate. The Culinary Union has reached an agreement with two more Las Vegas casinos. That's workers cheering after signing tentative agreements with Fremont and Main Street casinos. The Golden Nugget is the latest casino to come to a tentative agreement with the Culinary Union. An agreement has been reached between the Culinary Union and two properties in downtown Las Vegas, Binion's and Four Queens. A deal has been reached between the Culinary Union and downtown Grand. The Culinary Union has reached a tentative agreement with the SLS Las Vegas. Another victory for the Culinary Union. Union members reached a deal with the El Cortez Las Vegas. The state's largest union is on the picket line today. D Casino, look around! We make the food, we serve the drinks and serve the food. We give the people the experience they want when they come here. The main things they want is not just better wages, they also want better safety. Worker security that regards sexual harassment, workload, technology, and immigration. These are the things they're asking for when it comes to change.
the Strip have reached a tentative five-year agreement. A contract. Thank you very much. There you hear it new tonight. Treasure Island has reached a tentative agreement with thousands of workers. We just heard what is at stake for our democracy. There is an anti-immigrant agenda, and we have to fight for TPS. And the culinary union finally reaching a new contract agreement for all of its members this happening last night. The union settling with a D in the Golden Gate Hotel downtown on a new five-year deal. The culinary union, we are the largest local affiliate to Unite here. Uh, we represent 57,000 workers and with their families, 140,000 lives. Culinary union, more than 57,000 strong. Now we have 250 people every single day. You see them going door to door. They've hit about 400,000 doors in all this election season trying to get out the vote. It's a very powerful union. The number 226, that is the culinary union, the biggest organizing bodies in the entire state. I love you.